Well, hello, Sin Fam. If you don't know who I am, my name is Cyanide. I want to welcome you to my channel. And all you new people, give you a little extra special welcome. Let you know that we're glad that you picked us. And that I personally hope that you enjoy your stay. But before we begin, you're going to need to have to smash the living shit out of that like button, subscribe to this channel, and click that notification bell so that you get all alerts. Why is that? Because I'm telling you to, and that's what I'd like you to do. Anyway, I also want to let you know I stream on Twitch. I mean, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, starting at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, going on until midnight Eastern Time. So why don't you just also, after you watch the video all the way through, click the link in the description for my Twitch. Head over there, follow me. We'll have a little bit of live chat while we play some games. Uh, I usually start with some hunt, play a little bit of Final Fantasy. Uh, Final Fantasy. Ha! Uh, I had problems with the English language. So, <clears throat> play a little bit of Final Fantasy fourteen. Sometimes even some more COD. If there's any other games that you'd like me to play, let me know. Uh, definitely take a look at that. Um, I also stream on YouTube every Tuesday and Thursday. Starting around 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Guaranteeing about four hours unless there's something that could damage my PC or my own health. In which case, <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to go without it. But I'll always let you know if that's the case ahead of time. <clears throat> so what we're going to be doing today is yet another guide for Final Fantasy XIV. For all those of you who are little old sprouts, don't know what you're doing. But that's fine. Cyanide's got you covered. Anyway, we're going to go over a little bit more into crafting. Primarily, I'm going to have to correct myself on one thing that I was stating. <clears throat> which I will show you. And the other is going to help you learn how to create high quality gear because it isn't necessarily just plain as day like just right up in your face I'm gonna teach you how you can do that pretty regularly so we're gonna start with the correction because I can't let that go any further when I was talking about <coughs> where to do your beast trap quests for level 70 and I said we're trying to unlock the Namazu right I brought you to the right location but I forgot there's prerequisite quests and I want to make sure that we go through those first in a little more detail I hadn't, this happened because I actually came across one of my uh, my free company mates and was helping him yesterday and realized that there are more quests required that are a gate to those so you're going to come to the 8th right crystal here and Yamazu, or Yamantau, sorry, or Yangzia, but it's gonna be a Namai house, sorry. You can come to the Namai house, and then you are going to, I believe it's down here. Yeah. You're going to come fly down to these little houses right here, and there's a guy named Fakudo. And you're going to talk to Fakudo. And he's going to show you a right. And he's going to give you the first quest chain or one of two quest chains you need to do. Just follow that to the end. And then after you pleased Fakudo, you're going to head to. Uh, let me see here. You're going to head near that near that same place I showed you last time that, that same mansion <clears throat> and there will be a um, a fish guy in Amazu uh, that has a quest for you in that chain you'll have to do that as well all in all once you've done I think it's yeah, so it's six quests for the Namazu like four quests for 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 a uh, little fuckudo over there and then <clears throat> after that you have one final quest that you, have to, that you have to do it's just a little talking quest you'll end up doing that over by the mansion but one of the other things you need to realize 
and I'll show you. As once you finish that quest and you head over to the steeps, you're gonna have to go. Uh, 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 you're going to have to go to reunion or. Probably the tower is probably the best one to be honest because it's a little bit closer, but Make sure you have flying you're going to want flying for these You're gonna actually head over to um, The Yama the, the Yamazu city that we had or that we had started last time There'll be a quest there before the city's there You will only be able to see it when you're a crafter Okay, so if you switch to your crafter and you're out here, you're looking for a blue quest that should be over in this area. And that'll be, and then once you've done that, you'll finally have completely 100% unlocked the Yamazu. Anyway, what we're doing today is I, the, the, meat, the meat of today's video, I'm going to go to the Austal Imperative. <clears throat> and teach you how to make high quality items uh, using free materials that you would use for the beast tribe quest over here because I don't want to use materials that I purchase why because why would I want to spend in game money when you can just head over here and they usually they usually do have one uh, quest where it does require that you make you know, high quality. And these are always the same for me. So, by the way, it will not look this way when you unlock this these people for the first time. I'm just letting you know. One of these is going to give me a high quality. and Yep, there it is, right there. Okay. So, this is how you make your high quality, right? There we go. So, first of all, when you're doing Beast Tribe quests, you've got to go over to Special Recipes. You're going to go down to Beast Tribe quests. And you're going to select who you're doing the quest for. For these, I need an automated... Autom uh, automaton repair component. Uh, let's see here. There it is. Okay. So what you'll do is you hit synthesize like normal. <clears throat> and so uh, the whole objective is you're trying to get quality as high as you possibly can while still being able to finish the progress of the object, right? Which means I would need a hundred and sorry, 15,843 quality and 2,214 progress in order to make a high quality, this high quality item. It helps if you have your calculations tab, right? So what this allows you to do <clears throat> is take all of the skills that you have for both progress and quality and it assigns a numeric value for what they do, right? So it allows you to essentially calculate what you need to get to the you know to get to the end. And also, in the, since each one gives, since each skill the success rate allows you to to, to determine which risks you like to take. So, to what we're gonna do? I always start with reflect because reflect gives me three stacks of inner quiet, and inner quiet is definitely something you want. You want this done. You want this done. Since you're making a high quality item, you want to do your quality ones first. And it looks like our highest one is going to be this one. So preparatory touch, should be that right there. Uh, 
All right, so that gives us that. Let me see here, we're gonna do this one more time. Now, you should have an object healer. I can't remember where mine's at, it's been a while. Hold on one second. There we go. Restores durability, which would be three squares. That's important, right? That is going to restore some more CP, which is what you use for your actual good materials or good skills. I need at least 24 in order to use Brigitte's Blessing, right? This would allow me to do that. So that gives me nine stacks, right? What I can do, is this costs zero, 60% success rate. I can do it a couple more times, watch. So that went up. That went up again, so I've got 10 stacks. And I'm gonna hit this this time. That should give me, all right, 68%. And I need to make sure I get this finished. So now I've got to work in progress. So all I need is, woo, let me Carl, close one. That worked. That worked. Now I have a 68% chance of getting a high quality item and it worked. So the way it works, as you see uh, how that percentage went up, that means you have a 68, or I had a 68% chance of creating a high quality item. <clears throat> that works whether it's beast tribe quests or the normal just crafting. <clears throat> but the whole objective is you want to raise the percent chance as high as possible so that you can use less material when it comes to crafting, you know, and try, or trying to get your high quality item. Um, you know, obviously, because the because you only want to have to purchase materials once or acquire the materials once if possible, especially when it's not the beast tribes. The beast tribes, you can just go like if you mess up, you can just go right back to the same person that gave it to you and just start over again, uh, and it costs you nothing. But but when you're doing your class quests for crafting, that's a completely different story, and you could end up spending quite a bit of money on materials just to get that next quest done. So you don't want to spend so much money and then just keep messing up. <clears throat> and that's kind of why I wanted to make this tutorial. Because my free company mate wasn't 100% sure how to make high quality items. And they asked me, and it hit me yesterday that uh, there's perhaps there's quite a few of you that don't know yet either, because it's not really plain as they told to you, and I just wanted to help you out with that. So if this video helped you, I want you to please smash the living shell, out that like button, subscribe to this channel, and share this video with your friends. If it didn't help you, please smash the living shell, out this like button, subscribe to this channel, and, you know, share this video with your friends. Because I want to have a chance to grow and help other people. And I'm just a likable guy. How can you not like me, right? So, with all that said, I want to remind you that I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday starting at 2 p.m. And I stream on YouTube starting between the hours of 3.30 and 4.30 and Tuesdays and Thursdays. Love to have you there. So after you smash the like button and subscribe button, head on over to Twitch via my, my link in the description. Follow me over there. And until then, I want you guys to remember the gamers can and should be unifiers because gaming is the great unifier. Nothing matters, whether it's religion or age or gender or any of that matters when you're playing a game. It just matters about the game. You don't care about those other things when you're playing with people on, online. So it's best that we remember that. And then I also need to remember to live your best game. You live your life like you play your games. 